Yay. All right, we have a wonderful, special treat because it is going to be an easy eat, meaning that instead of spending the entire day in the kitchen making your meal, which I happen to love to do, but every now and again you need something that's very quick but also delicious. And this is very French inspired because we're using Dijon mustard, hence the bravo! And this is our Dijon mustard here. You have to make sure not to use the English mustard or the American uh, yellow mustard, but this is the secret ingredient. And we're starting with four skinless, boneless, free-range Irish um, or organic chicken breasts. And we're going to take the mustard and we're actually just going to scoop out a few tablespoons because it's raw chicken, so we don't want to put it back into the mustard jar, uh, the spoon. And all you do literally is spread the mustard on top of each of these. And then we're going to pop them into the preheated 180 degree oven for about a half an hour. Um, and while that's doing, we'll get the mashed potatoes ready and the side of veg. Um, but the first thing is we have some really lovely Parmesan cheese. Make sure it's really good Parmesan cheese. We'll just sprinkle it at the bottom of the baking dish. And then we're going to put our mustard dressed chicken, like so. Now, we'll squeeze one in there. And then we're going to put a little bit more mustard actually on the top of each of these. And you know, mustard is actually one of the oldest condiments known to the culinary world. It was being used back in the Roman days even, but I think this is a little bit posher than on hot dogs and the typical way that people use mustard. So now we're just sprinkle a little bit more of the Parmesan cheese on top. And I might grate a little bit more. Because it's gonna, once it cooks, it's gonna be nice and, and uh, melted and delicious, a little crusty on the end. And then we're just gonna sprinkle the onions on top like that. And if you don't have any of these in your supermarket, you can actually make them yourself. Um, and it won't take too much time, but this is the real quick way. And then you just need a bit of foil. And then we're just gonna put that on top. And then I'm going to put that in the oven, and like I said, it's going to take about 30 minutes. Un clown est mon ami, un clown bien ridicule, et dont le nom s'écrit en gifle majuscule. Pas beau pour un empire, plus triste qu'un chapeau. Il boit d'énormes rires et mange des bras. Un clown est mon ami, un clown bien ridicule, et dont le nom s'écrit en gifle So I'm steaming up um, a little of the tender stem broccoli, or broccolini, put a little salt and pepper on it, and then that's ready to go. And then over here, I've got the mashed potatoes all ready, and those are creamy and all set. And then the only thing we have to do is just take off the foil just for the last few minutes of the cooking. All right, so just 180 degrees, 350 degrees for about a half an hour. I just took the foil off the last few minutes just to get that nice and crispy on top, and we'll plate it up and be ready to taste it. So it's all ready to go, and I'm going to give it a taste. It's beautiful, crispy on the outside. I can just smell the lovely mustard, and I have it on a bed, a beautiful, creamy mashed potato with the lovely, delicious uh, tender stem broccoli. So we'll give that a little taste. And you can go to yankeedoodlepatty.com to get the recipe, although there isn't a lot. You saw what I did. Super easy eats. Ooh, it's nice when you get a little bit of the potatoes on there, too. Combo bite. Mmm. That is amazing. Mm. The chicken is super tender and moist. You've got a nice crunch from the onions. Mmm. Amazing. Bravo! I'm even wearing French colors. Bravo! La foule au grand demain s'accroche à ses oreilles. Lui vole ses chagrins et vide ses bouteilles. Son cœur qui se dévisse ne peut les attrister. C'est là qu'ils applaudissent la vie qui 